I'm Carrie Fry, the violist of the Rhythm Method. Thank you for coming to listen to our group music performance. We're very excited to have you here. This program is part of our Hidden Mothers initiative, which highlights the work of historical female composers, hoping to bring these pieces that haven't had their due into the public eye. The first quartet you're going to hear is Florence Price's String Quartet in G. This was written in 1929, which is shortly after she relocated from her home of Little Rock, Arkansas, to Chicago. The Chicago Symphony also premiered her Symphony No. 3, and that was the first time an African-American woman's work had been premiered by a major U.S. orchestra. I think you're going to like this quartet. It's one of the most beautiful things that we play, and we play a lot of beautiful music. So I hope you enjoy it. There's a lot of variety in these two movements.
Hi, I'm Megan. I'm the cellist of The Rhythm Method. And the next piece we're going to be playing is Elizabeth McConkie's String Quartet Number no. 3 from 1938. Um, this is the third of her 13 quartets, um, all of which are quite spectacular. Um, she was an Irish composer who spent most of her life in England um, and was very, as you might imagine, passionate about the medium of the string quartet. Um, she said in an interview in 1983 that she got frightfully excited about the string quartet because you have four players, each an individual and yet contributing to the whole. And my music is mainly contrapuntal, threads of melody all going on at once. And of course, that's what happens in a string quartet. Um, I think you'll hear that beautifully in this piece. Um, we really enjoyed playing it and we hope you enjoy listening. Thank you. 
Shoulder to Shoulder is a piece that I wrote based on the suffragette anthem of the same name with original text by Theodora Mills and the original melody was that of a traditional Welsh folk song. Um, as the piece goes along, you'll start to hear fragments of that folk song appear. 
Um, and also at some point I start to ruminate on one line that really struck me from the original anthem, which was, let no ancient custom bind you. Amanda Meyer was born in 1853 and died in 1894. The string quartet in A major that we are about to perform was written in 1877 when she was just 24 years old. She was a highly acclaimed violinist and a prolific composer at a very young age, um, and she was the first woman to graduate in music direction from the Royal Academy of Music in Stockholm, Sweden, which is where she was from. Um, the quartet is in four movements, and you will notice that the first movement is incomplete. Um, we chose to leave 
the performance of it incomplete as well. Um, it's a bit jarring, so be prepared. Um, and then the fourth movement uh, seems to be missing some developmental material. There were some sketches found with the manuscript that uh, never made it into the version that, that we have, which is the most complete extant version, um, which was found in 2014 um, by some historians uh, who were reconstructed by some historians who are affiliated with the Levanda Musikar Musikarv in Sweden. So I hope you enjoy Amanda Meyer's String Quartet in A Major.